Hello YouTube, what's up? It's uh, Jackintosh7, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a Python tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be doing these in any order, um, so if you're here to really like learn Python, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it, but like this isn't really going to be a whole series like step by step. Um, if you want to learn step by step, then check out the new Boston, um, go to his channel, um, link will be in the description. Basically this will be, if you have any little errors, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix them. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is, um, say you made a program in Python, um, I'm just going to show you. You made a little program in Python, um, let's actually make a whole new one, you, and you went over here, you made a new window, you close this, and then, so you just wanted it to print hello. So you just want to make a basic hello world program, right? So what happens is you save it, right? Let's save it as, and we're going to save it as error.py, right? This is hopefully what you did. Um, I'm going to hit yes. You're going to probably hit no, or it doesn't really matter what you would do. Uh, you probably won't have that error. So now I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open this. All right, I want it to open with the Python launcher. And as you can see, when I open it, it just flashes. But if you look really closely, you can see it's saying hello. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that today. All right, it's really, really easy. It's just one line of code, um, and it will say this. All right, hello, and then after that, it will say press enter to close, and it'll hit enter. Alrighty, so what you're gonna want to do is um, make a. Hold on a minute, I just need to actually forget that. All right, so what we need to do is let's go open up that program that you were working on before. Print. Hello, I'm just gonna make a new one real quick. All right, so print hello. So now what you want to do is. After this line right here, you're going to want to write input parentheses quotations press enter to close. Alrighty. Now this should um yeah this should work. You don't have to add the word for word press enter to close. You don't even have to do anything. Um, you can just have it press enter like. You don't even have to have any words. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, let's run this. We'll save it as um, what did I save that? We'll save it as test.py. I'm going to overwrite the other one. All right. So as you can see now, it says hello and press enter to close. And when we hit enter, it's going to close. But we need to open it in here first. So now I press enter, it closes. So say you don't want to have the words. All right, like as you can see here, it says press enter to close right underneath hello. So you don't want the words at all. You just want them to be able to press enter for it to go away. Then what you can do is you should be able to do this. Input and then two parentheses. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but this is how I usually try things. So we're going to save that and see if that works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And it actually worked. So you open up test. And then you open it up and you just hit enter and now it can close. Alright? So say you actually want to make a space between the words. Alright, let's add those words back in here. Um let's say press enter to close. Alright, so there's two ways I think about going about this. Alright, so what you might may be able to do is just go like this, but I don't think that's gonna work. So what you can do here is you can write print and then parentheses the whole time and it will skip. I don't think if we don't have if we just leave that blank it will, it will work, but we can try it. Um, so let's save it again. All right, yeah, see it didn't work. So what we have to do, say you want to make a space, you have to uh, write print parentheses. Now there's probably a better way of doing this, but this is the way that I do it. And if I was like making a program, like a big program, I probably wouldn't really do this. There's probably, I know there's a better way to do it. Um, so we'll hit control save. There's probably a command, I mean, not a command, but you know what I mean, that will let you skip a certain amount of lines. Um, so we're gonna save this. 
and now when we open up test, as you can see, it says hello, and then as you can see here, it skips one, two, three, four, five lines, and then it has press enter to close, and it works. Alrighty, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I hope you learned something. So if you're having that little uh, problem, it was really easy to fix. As you can see, you just add input and then uh, parentheses, and then there you go. I just showed you how to do it a couple of different ways. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos.